This is the Paint Copter. It is a DJI Matrice 100 platform with custom modifications. The spray gun is mounted on a pan tilt unit with the pan tilt unit on the end of an arm so that the spray is not affected by rotor wash. The onboard battery has been replaced with an external power line. The modified electronics have been positioned at the rear of the UAV to counterbalance the weight from the arm and nozzle at the front of the UAV. Paint is supplied via an external paint line and pressured air line. The use of external power and paint enables extended mission times suitable for industrial painting tasks. The onboard sensors are an Intel R200 real sense for depth sensing and the Zurich Sense S360 visual interstitial camera. There are two onboard computers for real-time processing. A Jetson TX2 for GPU processing and an Intel upboard. The first stage of the pipeline is to scan a target surface using a dense SLAM system. Color, depth and inertial measurement data are used to generate a detailed centimeter accurate map of the surface. The resulting 3D model is saved to disk. At the next stage of the pipeline, the designer is able to specify area fill and line painting on the visualization of the 3D model. The next stage is task planning using the designer specified appearance to generate a desired trajectory for the UAV plus target spray points on the surface in order to direct the spray gun during the painting mission. Next is the live painting mission. At the start of the mission, the UAV performs a relocalization operation to register the live view to the pre-scanned 3D model. The UAV then autonomously flies the trajectory generated in the task planning stage and the pan tilt unit is directed to spray the surface using the target spray points generated in the task planning stage. The UAV maintains its pose estimate by localizing against the pre-scanned 3D model of the target surface. Experiments are performed by spraying water instead of paint for convenience with indoor experiments. The spray pattern is visualized using a thermal camera. The user specified design is shown at top left. This experiment demonstrates area fill. This experiment demonstrates repeatability of the spraying.